Hey guys! Welcome back to the Exam Revision YouTube channel. My name is Ellen and today I'm going to be talking about how to get a H1 in biology. I know a lot of people consider biology to be a quite an easier subject in comparison to others, but a lot of people struggle to get the H1. I think it's definitely an easier subject to get like a H3 or a H2 in, but to get up to that level of a H1 can kind of be difficult. I've got a H1 in my leaving cert and it was actually in the written exam. I did have predicted grades alongside the written exam, but I did get the H1 in the written exam. So I'm here to tell you all of my tips and how I did it. It's really not that difficult if you know how, it's quite easy to hack the system in biology in order to get the H1. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about is listening in class. This is so obvious and everyone knows, you know, you go to your class and you listen, blah, 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 blah. But I mean like seriously listen. I feel like when you're actually being taught the material, if you actually listen and like what your teacher is saying and she's gonna be explaining it or he or she, whatever, is gonna be explaining the material. If you're actually listening and being like, oh yeah, I understand where you're coming from, I understand what you're saying, that is the start of how you ace a topic in biology. I know everyone thinks they listen and I was guilty of that too. In some of the classes where I was just bored, I didn't really care, I would just sit there looking at the teacher like, but the words were going in one side of my brain and coming out the other. In biology and to be honest, like any other of the science subjects, I did all three sciences. Um, but it was like the same idea for every science. You really need to be listening in class because we don't have the time to go home and teach ourselves the material. When we go home, we should be studying the material. So in class, listen to your teacher. They will be explaining where they're getting all these ideas from and how everything works. If you're understanding how that all works in class, that will save you so much time when you get home. And also if you really are listening, all the material will stick to the back of your head. So when you do come to study and do your exam questions, you'll be like, oh, I remember they said this, or I remember they said that. And listening takes a lot of energy, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully your classes are not that long. Mine were like 40 minutes long, so I could listen for that portion, but it is so important. And it's not the end of the year yet, we're only starting off, so you have the time to listen in class, it's not too late. Even if you weren't listening in fifth year, to be honest, everything kind of gets repeated in sixth year anyway, so you will be fine. And if you're watching this video, let's say a couple of weeks before the leaving cert, don't worry, there's still things you can do. Honestly, I do think that biology it is very easy to get the H1 in if you actually put the work in. So even if it's still a month or two until your leaving cert when you're watching this, you still have a chance, especially to up your grade anyway. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is reading the material. Everyone is different kinds of learners. For me, this worked really well. And when I mean read the material, I don't want you to just skim through and be like, oh yeah, like I get what they're saying, blah, 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 blah. It might take you like up to two hours to read a certain chapter, but sit down and read it and understand as you're reading it. Don't be like, oh, I don't really know where they came from. Oh, but let's just keep reading. Read the entire chapter, whether it be on notes your teacher gave you, a book. Don't really recommend the book. There's a lot of useless information in there. I would highly recommend checking out the exam revision notes they have, H1 standard notes, and they have all the material in the notes for each topic that you need to know for the exam. So you can download those, either print them or look at them on your computer. Printing is probably better because then you can highlight and stuff. But go through the entire chapter. It could take hours, but it's so important. You can't just jump onto exam questions after doing a little bit of homework on it and your teacher talking about it in class. Like that's just not gonna work. Read the chapter, highlight important pieces, understand exactly what they're saying in every single line. Again, we're listening to your teacher. That is the start of how you're going to ace that topic. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about obviously is exam questions questions. And I know everyone says, do your exam questions, blah, 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 blah. I don't think people understand the power exam questions have. Biology, I think, is personally the most repetitive subject in the entire Leaving Cert. The questions every year have come up at some point indefinitely in the past 10 years. So if you are doing enough exam questions, you will be fine and you will recognize every single question. For me, what I did when doing exam papers was let's say I would pick a topic every weekend. Let's say I did photosynthesis. And that weekend on photosynthesis, I would do every single exam question that has come up in the past 10 years and mock question on photosynthesis. And then I would have an A4 sheet beside me. And every time I found a question that was kind of difficult or I didn't really understand, or maybe a slightly harder question, because every couple of years there's some harder questions in the exam, I would write all of those questions on the A4 sheet of paper, along with the answer from the marking scheme, because don't put your own answer because you might not be filling out everything for all of the marks. Write down the answer and so you have that sheet for right before the exam to scan through. You might not understand where that question's coming from, but if that question does come up, which it likely will, you will know the answer. I had sheets for this for every single topic in biology, like reproduction, photosynthesis, enzymes, everything. There was always a dodgy question or a question that I didn't really understand, a question I found difficult. So I would have A4 sheets for every single topic of the questions that I found difficult and I could revise over them right before the exam. Like you should be doing so many exam questions. You could be reciting off exam questions at the end of this. 
The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the most important chapters in biology. Obviously biology is a huge course, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of the topics don't come up that often and they are important still to learn them, but there's definitely big chapters that come up every single year religiously that you need to know inside out. Especially if your Leaving Cert is coming up very close when you're watching this video, these are the most important topics. Photosynthesis, respiration, reproduction, enzymes, food, plants, everything in plants, like not just the structure, genetics, and then DNA and RNA. Now there is obviously ecology as well. For my Leaving Cert, I had a lot more choice because of COVID. So I was able to leave out ecology. I couldn't stand ecology, I literally hated it. Now for more recent Leaving Certs, I don't know if you have as much choice to just leave out entirety of ecology. So I definitely would add ecology to that list as well. Obviously you still have a bunch of other chapters like digestion and the nervous system and the brain and blah, 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 blah. blah. Obviously you need to know them as well. And it is without a doubt, if you wanna get a H1, you need to know everything and they are still important but honestly the most important chapters are those chapters they are the biggest they're the chunkiest they come up every single year without a doubt the last thing i'm gonna be talking about is flashcards i was never a massive flashcard fan i just didn't really see the point to them to use one card to like write the name of something and then the definition at the back didn't really get it i didn't use flashcards for definitions i just thought it was a bit of a waste of time but what i did do i would buy the big flashcards like not the little ones i would buy the big ones Literally the biggest ones you can find. They're massive. And I usually do this like a couple of weeks before the leaving search, just to like rejog my memory. But I would have a little flashcard, maybe like osmosis, let's say. I think I actually had two flashcards for osmosis. They're actually gone right now. Obviously my leaving search was like three years ago. But I would write every single thing on those flashcards that was important and that I needed to know. Because a lot of the time in notes or in books, there is so much useless information. But I'd basically have a couple of flashcards, as many as I needed, hopefully as little as possible. And I would fit all of the important information, all based on exam questions. So whatever the exam questions were asking was on those notes. I would have maybe one, two, or three, depending on the chapter, flashcards back and front, written of just the important information. Same right before the exam, whatever topic, let's say I was worried for or not the most confident in, I could go through those one or two flashcards really quick and then I would feel confident in answering the exam questions on the topic. I would definitely recommend using the exam revision notes to write your flashcards. Exam revision have video lessons, H1 standard notes, presentations, exam questions, the whole lot. And you could use those notes especially to write your flashcards. And also notes, because I had like massive folders of biology notes that I wrote myself. And let's just say, hypothetically, your teacher is not the greatest teacher. The exam revision video lessons are unbelievable. And if you struggle listening in class, they might be able to help because obviously you can pause them, rewind them, listen over and over and over again. So definitely check out the exam revision courses on bundles. I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.